Hey guys, welcome to another blog tech tips tutorial. Today I'm just going to deal with a issue where we're having a black screen on your laptop, right? Um, basically what's going to happen here is that the display is um, blank whenever you power up the device, right? This issue is very common in laptops, it can even happen in phones, but for today we're going to focus on the laptop, alright? You have a Dell, doesn't really matter the brand, right? And basically, just to show you the issue, I'm going to first start this up. Alright, um, it's booting and what would happen here is that you normally, you can see the LEDs, like for example, you can see the R drive, activity LEDs, but on screen, you'll see nothing. Alright, um, normally the system should have post by now and you should be seeing something on screen. But as you guessed it, there's nothing. You could even hear sometimes, you hear like the sound of Windows starting up. Well, that's not really a necessity, but the laptop is powered up. But screen is blank, alright? I'm going to show you to actually start troubleshooting this. I'm going to work my way from the most popular um, causes all the way down, alright? So, in case this happening, what you're going to do is you're going to force power off this thing by just holding down the power button to just basically shut down the laptop, alright? Once the laptop is off, you're going to unplug it off the device once it's off. You're going to turn it over, alright, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to eject the battery, so both slots are out, alright, so the battery is out now, and what you want to do is this, alright, you're going to hold down the power button while the battery is out, see the battery is out, and you're going to hold it for a little while, alright, I'm going to give it some time, and basically what I'm going to do is that when I come back, I'm going to actually reconnect everything and then I'm going to actually um, try to power it up again. So actually hold this down for about um, a minute or so. And basically what you're doing, you're trying to drain the residual energy that's stored within the circuitry of the laptop. should allow it to power back up. It's a simple problem such as that. Alright, we're back. I've fitted out the battery in, so I'm just going to try to power it up once again. Just to see if the issue has been rectified. Now, if this doesn't work, you don't really have to worry as it's a more severe issue, right? So, based on this data, I can assume. Okay, now we're pouring up. So we'll wait a bit. If I see nothing on the display, um, as you can see, I have R-Drive activity LED right here. And nothing is coming on the screen, that means a more severe issue. So I'm going to take it to the next step. I'm going to actually pour this back down again. Right? And this time, I'm going to assume that it's something along the lines of something more severe so what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually access the RAM or the memory inside of this um, laptop All right. so here I go here you have your hard drive, you have your wireless card and over here you have your uh, DIMMs now the DIMMs here are just basically your RAM sticks alright there's slot A and slot B alright what could be wrong here is that slot a, and in case you have two, just remove both of them. Alright, I'm feeling this right now, it's abnormally hot. Alright, very, very hot. And there we go. Um, based on the battery still being in, it's giving you a warning that the thing is still on. Uh, so, the reasons you can actually remove the, um, the battery. Alright, and that's because it's detecting that the RAM is not in. Alright. Now remember all these by the side as they can become damaged. Alright. Um, to test this now, if I get anything on screen, I will know that it's definitely the RAM is on bad, which is most likely the case. I'm gonna slide this back in. Alright, I don't have an extra RAM stick, but if you do, you're gonna try switching it out. If not, it should come on, on screen and tell you that something is wrong. Should you also hear the beeps? Alright. Alright, here I'm going to actually test this. Alright, those are the post beeps to tell you that um, something is missing. In this case, it is telling you that the RAM is missing. Alright, I see nothing on screen to indicate. So I can assume that basically it's not the RAM as it should have come up in this particular minute. So another thing that you can try is to actually 
Alright, so I've basically just started over by basically um, inserting the ROM and another thing you can do to test the ROM other than the fact that it might be dead is that you can actually clean the slots, alright? Um, they might be dirty and as a result they are, um, will not work, alright? Next step. Alright, so once, um, if it's not the case of the ROM slots being dirty, um, you can do that by cleaning them with a brush or also blowing them out. Next thing you want to do is to check if the display itself is actually turning on. What can happen is that sometimes inverter is damaged. So once you're getting the R drive activity LED like here, what you're going to do is to take a light. Here I have my um, handy light. And what I'm going to do is just pull it as close as possible to the screen. Now, if you could come in closer, um, if it's a case where, where, um, where it's actually turning on and you're not seeing, you should be able to see something on screen, right? And if you can actually see something on screen, it means that the inverter is dead and you'll need to actually change the inverter that's in the screen, all right? Um, next step what you can do is actually get a secondary display like my monitor over here. You're going to connect it to the VGA port of the um, um, laptop. And if it's a case where the display is not working, it will show on screen. If it's showing on screen, it means the laptop is okay. But it's not. Otherwise, it's a matter of just removing the um, motherboard using a heat gun and actually heating the board and actually.